You know, when I first got started, I was wondering what is an LLC and how do I set one up in my state? Well, I'm gonna walk you through step by step through that process so that you can set up an LLC with confidence in the state of Florida. It's important that you watch this video to the very end because if you don't, you're gonna miss a very important step in the LLC formation process. An LLC stands for a limited liability company. To give you an example, if your business were to get sued, you personally would not be at fault, which means that your house, your car, and any other personal assets that you own are protected. Now you know what an LLC is, let's talk about some of the benefits. First, it is proof to yourself that you are serious about this business. You decided to invest money by paying the filing fee with your state. The second benefit is that customers have more confidence in your business because they see it as established. The third benefit is that organizations are more likely to give you funding and you have a higher chance of winning free grant money for your business. If you are getting any value from this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And so in just a minute, I will walk you through the eight steps to setting up an LLC in Florida. And then I'll share with you a business formation company that'll help you in the process of making sure it's set up correctly. The first step is choosing a business name. This name should reflect your brand identity and be available in your given state. For the second step, it's important that business owners decide on a business address. And so there's a couple of options business owners have available to them. The first option is to already have a headquarters or office for your business. The second is if you're running a home-based business, you can pay for a virtual office. No matter what you do, it's important that you have an address that's separate from your home because the business address will be public record and you don't want anyone to be able to know where you live. And so if you need more help with choosing the best virtual office for your needs, I'll include a helpful link in the description below. The third step is choosing a registered agent. This is an organization or person that will take official documents on behalf of your business. It's typically recommended that the registered agent is a business and not a person because it could be available during all working hours. And then for step four, business owners need to file the articles of organization. This is the official paperwork saying that your LLC has been established with your state. And so once you get this paperwork, it's very exciting as this is proof that you have made your business legit. For the fifth step, you will need to create an operating agreement. The operating agreement is where you list out the owners as well as managers in the business. In addition, the operating agreement will include how business owners will get paid from the profits as well as what will happen if there's any disputes or disagreements as relates to the business. And so although this isn't required by the state, it is a very important document that business owners should fill out to make sure that they're protected in their business. Next, you will need to look into getting an EIN as well as licenses and permits. An EIN stands for an employer identification number. This is similar to your social security number but for your business. And so you can get an EIN through your formation company or directly from the IRS website for free. I've been included a video in the description that walks you through step by step on how to set up an EIN after you receive the articles of organization. And then as it relates to licenses and permits, depending on the type of business you have, as well as the city that you formed your business, you might need additional paperwork saying that you are allowed by your state to conduct a business. For the seventh step, business owners in Florida will need to set up a business bank account. This is a way to separate your personal money from the money of your business. If business owners use their personal account to accept business money, they could be piercing the corporate veil. This is a legal term that means that you and your business are one. So if you were to get sued, limited liability would go away and they would be able to access all of your personal assets. The eighth and final step to forming the LLC is completing the final requirements for your state. The first reporting requirement that Florida business owners need to be aware of is the BOI report. BOI stands for the Beneficial Ownership Information Report. This is a requirement by the federal government to disclose information about the business owners and business. And this BOI report is due within 90 days of forming the LLC. If you want help filling out the BOI report, I've linked a step-by-step -step video in the description below. In addition to the BOI report, Florida business owners must also complete state annual reporting requirements. And so in the state of Florida, business owners are required to submit an annual report every single year by May 1st and costs about $139 to file with Florida's Division of Corporations. This is a very important report that you'll give Florida every year as it includes your business name, your business address, as well as additional information about your business. If business owners don't file this report, they can get their LLCs shut down. If they file this report late, they'll have to pay an additional $400 plus the $139 already mentioned. And so it's very important that Florida business owners file this report before the deadline. Now I'm going to show you the best way to set up your LLC and the way I personally use to set up my business. And so here we are on Zen Business's homepage. What you can do is go to the start now section and you're going to enter in your preferred business name. And so once you do so, you're going to click start now. 
and then it's going to ask you, are you ready to get started? And it's going to include five steps that walk you through the process. Now it's going to ask us for our formation state. We've chosen the state of Florida. Here it's going to ask, how much experience do you have running a business? We're going to say none as this is the first business we're doing. Will your business have employees in the first year? No, it'll just be me. As for this example, we're going to have a single member LLC. Then it's going to ask, will your business address be different from your home address? We're going to say yes to this question as we already have a virtual office set up. How far along is your business? Already making money, launching soon, or planning for the future? Let's say launching soon in one to two months. Next question, what are your business goals? Side business, primary income, or the next big thing? For this example, we're going to say primary income. What kind of business are you forming? Let's go with the education consultant. Do you want to save your progress? Yes. And so what's really nice about Zen Business is that you can save your progress if you need to leave and then come back. And now it's going to ask us who we want to choose for our registered agent. As mentioned earlier, it's great that Zen Business will both form your business and act as your registered agent. And so in this case, we'll say appoint Zen Business as both. And then it's going to ask us to select the package. And so we can go with the starter plan, the pro, or the premium. I personally got the pro plan because it included the worry-free compliance, which means that I can make two amendments or changes to my business documents. So if my address changes or my name changes, they will help me in that process. If you want to go for more premium services, you can also get the website as well as domain and email address in the premium package. And then if you want to scale down, you can go with the starter plan. But for this case, let's choose the pro because it's the best value. Now it's going to ask us if we want to open up a business bank account with Zen Business. I would say let's test out the future, see if we like it. It's just $5 a month. If we don't, we can cancel it. Next, it's going to ask us if we want to use their Money Pro bookkeeping services. And so keeping track of your income and expenses is very important. You can do it yourself or you can use a company like Zen Business to do it. And so that's something important to think through when you decide on this option. Let's say no thanks for now as we can change it later on depending on our needs. Next, it's gonna ask us if you want Zim Business to design our website. Currently right now, we already have a website in mind so we're gonna say no thanks and move on. By chance, do you want additional business documents like a liability waiver, employment agreements, as well as contracts and proposals? I'm gonna say no thanks to this because I know that they are available for free online. So let's say no thanks. It brought us to this page just to review the information we've entered in so far, as well as to highlight on their 100% accuracy guarantee, which is very important when choosing a business formation company. And so yes, this information is correct, as well as the company name and the state that we're filing this business in. We're going to hit continue and move on. And so here we are on the checkout page. $324 is due today, and an additional $199 will be billed after the business is formed, and that will be for the registered agent services. And so once everything looks good, we're gonna say continue to payment, where we can enter in our credit card information as well as our password, and then we're gonna submit place order for $324. And so there you have it, your LLC is officially set up and created in the state of Florida. Let me know if you have any questions at all about this process, as I'd be more than happy to answer them in the comment section below. I cannot wait to see you next time. Peace, stay building.